Hello everybody. Since becoming the independent member for Indi, I'm often asked, how do I know which way to vote? There are a few guiding principles I use when deciding how to vote on legislation, and I call this my voting framework. My first responsibility is to the electorate. How will the bill before Parliament impact on Indi? Will it have implications on our communities for health, education, employment? Secondly, I'm guided by the commitments I made during the campaign, and these include improving transport, telecommunications, education, climate change, health and mental health, agriculture, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, supporting young people, and cross-border issues, particularly relating to small business. And third, does the bill align with my vision for Indi? That is, a prosperous and caring community, alive with opportunities, where everybody is able to reach their potential. There are also the Indi values to take into account. Understanding, listening and sharing knowledge and experience, integrity, that's being open, honest and consistent in our actions, respect, treating people courteously and fairly, and optimism, believing we can always be better, and action, fulfilling our commitments. So other considerations include ensuring that the diversity of voices and opinions are heard, encouraging respectful and mature representation, and being honest and respectful and well informed when making statements. It's also important to understand the practical day-to-day -day voting in Parliament. Generally, there are two types of votes, substantive motions that concern the passage of legislation and procedural motions that cover the operations of the House. And generally, I support the government of the day on substantive motions, unless there is some conflict to values and policy or it falls outside the voting framework. I made it clear before being elected that I would support the government of the day and where appropriate I support amend amendments to improve legislation. When procedural motions are being discussed it's my approach to support the role of Parliament for open respectful debate which enables the diversity of perspectives and representations to occur. So where possible, I vote in support of procedural motions that allow the business of the House to be conducted in an effective manner. On gag motions, which are procedural motions, it's been my practice to vote for debate and discussion and against motions that end debate, frequently referred to as the gag. And generally, it's the government moving the gag so it's been my practice to vote with the opposition against these motions. I hope this video has given you an insight into my decision making in Parliament and I do welcome your comments and feedback and please visit my website to see the details of my voting record. Thank you.